Hi, Marilyn here from Cotton and Chocolate. And today I wanted to show you how I use the block lock ruler to make half square triangles. I love this ruler and I love how my half square triangles turn out because why they turn out perfect. So what you're doing here is you're making your squares or your half square triangles a little bit bigger and then you're cutting them out to size. I'm using the six and a half inch ruler. I like it because it's a little versatile. You can use make all the sizes from six and a half inches down. So I like using that size. So first thing I'm going to get my squares ready. Now how do you transform your pattern? Well whatever size it says to cut your your raw size you have to make it a little bit bigger. Just size it up. Size it up a half an inch. That gives you a little leeway. So first I'm using the Quilters Magic Wand to draw my um, lines and I love this. You, it comes in a few colors and so you, it has this little marking on it. You put this down from point to point and then take your pencil and mark on each side and I really do love my um, sew line pencil. It works great for doing this marking and I'm going to do a couple of them because I'll show you how easy it is to cut a couple of these at a time and then of course you have to put right sides together on your squares. Now when I'm sewing I sew to the inside of that line. It gives you an, a little extra leeway, it makes your half square triangles come out a little bit larger and um, a little bit more of that extra room for cutting. So I just want to sew these on each side. So just give me a second here and you can just change, paste them. Just have to turn and go the other way now. I'm just going to do a couple here. And um, I would do the same if I'm doing a couple or one. 50. So you have them sewn and then you'll cut these apart and then you're just going to cut down the middle and you can use a rule, ruler to cut down the middle or you can just kind of freeform it like I'm doing and then typically I press to the dark whatever one is to the dark unless your pattern is telling you to do something different and you notice that I'm using my Oliso iron. I love these irons. These irons get really, really hot. So it's my go-to iron when I'm at my workstation because they're lightweight. You can put water in them to steam if you would like. If you need that little extra boost of pressing. And I love my wool mat, so I just kind of have it set up here in my demo station. Um, if you're gonna put it on your cutting mat to iron, it gives me, me a little extra padding so that it doesn't get my, um, my cutting mat too hot. And um, I, I'm just set up at the shop working right now so it doesn't get our cutting mat here too hot. But this gets so hot that I do use an extra pad and the trivet that it comes on. So now I've made my half square triangles now these aren't to size that it says, they're too big. That's the whole point. So how do you use the block lock? So you have, I press them to the dark, so it has this little valley that's deeper to the dark and shallower to the light. So you take that block lock emblem and have it on the shallow side. That's how you cut. And so this is set up, I, um, I'm gonna be cutting these at um, two inches. I, I cut the first squares at three, so it will have some, I just kind of arbitrarily did it for this demo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, here's my two inch mark, so I'm gonna do my first cut down this way. Okay, so you can take and turn the block lock if you go to the block lock site they show you, but I'm gonna be cutting a, a lot of them. So what I do is I, do it all on one side first. I find that, whoops, it's just a lot easier to handle all my blocks at once. So I have all of them on the deep side first. It's just easier for me to do, but you get the idea. And then when I have them all cut, I'll, I'll leave that last one there. I'm gonna turn them all and I'm gonna turn my ruler. So now the block lock is again on the shallow side. And then I just slide it into the two inches. 
and cut it down. Now this one I particularly have a lot to cut off. I normally wouldn't have that much, but this is just for the demo. And then again, I slide it down in. So I'm keeping the ruler and the blocks all with the shallow side with the emblem and then slide it down. Okay, and that's how the block block works. And I have perfectly sized half square triangles. So that's how you use the block block. Uh, I think that you'll love it once you start using it. And of course you can get it here at Cotton and Chocolate Quilt Company. So come visit us, try out your block block and thank you for listening.